Five Simple Practices to Master Your Physical, Mental and Spiritual Health. This time, we're going to give you some simple practices to become the master of your mental, physical and spiritual health. These should be simple and easy so that you can do them anywhere and at any point in your busy schedule. We will first talk about meditation. I've mentioned this several times in different presentations and I can't stress enough how important this is. Meditation allows you to reduce your mental stress, take time for yourself and just feel in the moment. It's easy to get caught up in the little things and everything that you have to get done. But taking 10 to 15 minutes to get in touch with your body, focus on your breathing and think positive thoughts can help and not just your mental health. By reducing stress and anxiety, you can also improve your physical health and feel more in tune with your spirituality. It's easy to doubt your spirituality if you're stressed and feel overwhelmed, so it's important to take time to reinforce your beliefs. The second practice is to always continue to learn. You may be over the age when you have to go to school or have realised that a traditional learning environment just isn't for you. However, that doesn't mean that you have to give up on learning. Studies show that continuously learning throughout your life is an important way to maintain your mental processes. It doesn't have to be subjects like algebra or biology either. Things that you find interesting such as your favourite bird, a flower outside your home or even a new cooking recipe can all count as learning. However, you can also learn about yourself. Learning more about your body, your spirituality and steps to improve your physical health are all considered learning as well. Just make sure you're always trying to learn something new and don't get complacent with what you know. The third is to pray or stay in touch with your spirituality, however that works for you. For some, praying is a way to stay closer to their religion, to feel connected and heard. For others, taking a walk in the woods and feeling the surrounding earth heightens their spirituality. Whatever works for you, it doesn't matter. However, don't let those moments of connection get pushed aside due to a busy schedule. That brings us to our fourth practice. Follow a routine. Regular exercise, a healthy diet and times for meditation and spiritual practices are all important. Keeping to a similar schedule is a great way to keep up with everything and not let practices get pushed to the wayside. Keeping a schedule can also help reduce stress. If most of your days are the same, you don't have to worry about trying to remember something or fitting it in later. You and your body know what is expected of you. There's a sort of peace to having everything fit into place in your life as well, kind of like when you're restocking and organising videos online. My fifth practice and advice for you is to be part of a community. For those on the more religious side, this could be a church or a weekly meeting with your peers. Perhaps you're part of a book club or a knitting circle, as long as you're in a place where you feel safe and happy and are part of a group. This gives you support when you're feeling alone or helpless and improves your mental health. They can also keep you focused on your goals and help to prevent you from letting certain practices slip by, keeping you accountable. Those are the five simple practices that you can use to master your physical, mental and spiritual health. None of them will take you a long time and can easily be slipped in anywhere in your day. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.